Firstly, a really quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Whether you're learning how to play guitar or roller skate, Skillshare is a fantastic resource to improve and acquire new skills. Here we go. Holy crap. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here from The Retro Future. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a brand new electric screwdriver. Now, obviously, I take apart a lot of stuff on this channel, so it's a no-brainer that I have tried lots of different screwdrivers. Um, I prefer using a manual screwdriver. It's just a little bit more controlled, especially screwing into and out of old, uh, you know, burnt out, worn out Game Boys with slightly weaker plastics from, uh, you know, exposure to sun and UV over the years. So having a manual screwdriver is a little bit more controlled. That being said, there are times, especially with the DMG, where there's about 20 Phillips screws in, in front of you that you need to remove. And it is just daunting to do that with a manual screwdriver. So I did pick up uh, quite a while ago this, which is the Wow Stick. Now this really is a very nice screwdriver. It runs off of two uh, AA batteries. However, there is a different version of it. Sorry, AAA batteries. However, there, there is a different version of it that comes with a really nice little dock uh, and it has a rechargeable battery inside it. Now this comes with the best set of screwdriver bits I have ever seen in my life. It came with three uh, sort of tubes the same length as this with just so many different bits inside of it. And that is actually where I got the tri-wing bit that I use in all of my videos. Some people buy these kits and they're not happy with the tri-wing screws, that, uh, the tri-wing bits that it comes with. Uh, this one came with a Y 2.5. If I hold it up to the camera, you might be able to see the little engraving of WOW, and that's obviously because it came with the WOW stick. So taking the WOW stick and taking a Game Boy and just putting the uh, tri-wing screw bit into the screw and pressing the backing out, you know, undo button. It will actually do it. Okay, let's try that one more time. It does do it fairly well. So now let's try a different way. If we press the back button but use just a tiny little quarter turn from my hand, it will help it monumentally come out. Can you see that there? Because you're just helping starting it off. Now some people are not happy by this. I've had lots of comments saying, oh it's no good if you have to manually unscrew. I don't think it's a big deal breaker to just do a tiny little turn just to help it out. It's only a very small um, motor and considering the form factor of this thing, it's a little aluminium uh, screwdriver, I think it's fairly okay for it to not be able to just unscrew everything. But today we're going to be taking a look at another screwdriver. Today we're going to be taking a look at another screwdriver that claims it can do just a little bit more. So this is it and it has on the front of it Guangs. Guangs? I don't know what the branding is. Honestly, it's another one of those things where a million different companies seem to be releasing it. I paid £15 for this, which is £5 less than the WOW stick. I'm going to point out the obvious. It's not quite as good looking <laughs> as the WOW stick. Uh, it's about the same height. Actually, just a tiny little bit taller, but it really isn't a very nice looking thing. It's very industrial. Uh, it's quite thick, I'd say. It's a, just a little under an inch thick, maybe two centimeters. Uh, it's a hefty little thing and it weighs an absolute ton. Like it's really, really nice to, uh, to hold in the hands. Now it comes with a rechargeable battery pre-installed in it and we'll open it up in a second and see what the specifications of it are. Unfortunately, it uses micro USB uh, to charge, which is gonna be a little bit of a deal breaker for some people. I suppose it's not too bad though to have a rechargeable battery in it, regardless of the uh, the cable that they've used, uh, because this thing, when the AAAs start running out, it does not unscrew as well as it did, uh, you know, when you first put fresh batteries inside it. So that's a little bit of a, uh, a letdown. Now the main difference that you can immediately tell is that this one has a far bigger bit opening in the front of it. So it uses the standard size um, screw bits and drill bits. I'm not actually sure what the name is for these, but it does come with this lovely little adapter that probably is just gonna be left in for most people. You might even wanna just dab a bit of super glue and whack that in there. Uh, and then you have you know, your regular magnetized end to just go on the end there. So there it is. 
There's the full setup. It sticks out about two inches, but oh boy, has this thing got some bloody power. Now for 15 quid, five pounds less than that, I think it's double the price of the manual one, but wait till you see this. <laughs> what on earth? This thing is so powerful. Look, here we go. Oh, sh Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's so sick, but you would have heard there on multiple occasions I almost rounded the uh, the screws. They're actually okay, but that could have been bad. Oh my god, is this thing a lot of damn fun. Let's get a uh, a Phillips bit. So it has it has come with a few uh, of the you know the bits that you might use, flatheads and Phillips, but it hasn't come with any tri-wing. Uh, but let's whack the Phillips end in here and just try and remove these three Phillips screws. Oh my god, is it awesomely powerful. <laughs> Not even any trouble at all. Let's try it. Let's try and put them back in. Now, the button is actually very responsive and it's a really nice big tactile button. This one doesn't have any sort of like immediate differentiating uh, sort of divider between the two. I know they've probably done that for it to look minimalistic and stuff, but and you can hear the difference of the motor. Oh my god, I am in love with this thing. So here's a big old dirty DMG. Now the best uh, way to test these things is with Game Boys that have never been opened before because obviously the screws are going to be really, really tight in there. But oh my god, is this thing awesome. It's ruthless, like let's be honest, it is a bit on the dangerous side. Here we go. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, it's so awesome. Jesus, man. Taking apart a Game Boy has never been so easy. Christ. That is exceptional. Now, this is what I was talking about before. When you uh, take apart a DMG, you are presented with... Let's count. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws to take out. And with this, Boom. That is 15 pounds well bloody spent. Oh, we're in. Boom. Okay, so there, there's the motor. Holy crap. That is a hefty motor. Jesus. Okay, what is this battery? It is a, apparently, a 1500 milliamp hour battery. I mean, I don't know how truthful that is, but it is just a standard sized battery. So if this, you know, if you wanted to replace this with something that could potentially be more trustworthy, I feel like 15 pounds uh, coming with a battery like that is probably not legit. Or if it is, it's quite a low quality battery, but it's very easy to replace. It's just uh, obviously two wires. So you could replace that if you want. Holy crap, what a package for £15. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's clear that the uh, shell is actually made out of um, plastic compared to the aluminium one of this, but it speaks for itself. There will be an affiliate link in the description below if you want to check it out. I hope you've enjoyed this little second channel waffle on screwdrivers, which really some people aren't going to find any very interesting at all. Goodbye. Big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands upon thousands of high quality professional courses to help you. The first 500 subscribers to click the link in the description below will get two free months of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. After that, a membership is less than $10 a month, which is not a very high price to pay to better yourself as a human being.